Hi everyone, welcome back. In the last episode, we talked about how to create a consistent character in Mid Journey using just one face image and one outfit reference. Today, we're going to take that to the next step by giving our character a dedicated background. This way, instead of a floating character in random spaces, you'll be able to place them into a specific environment that matches your vision. Again, this is going to be done under 3 minutes. Alright, here we are. Just like last time, we will first pick out ingredients. We have the face, the outfit, just like last time. And now comes the important new part, choosing a background. This can be uh, a photo of a real location or reference you find online. And the picture I pick is, uh, is a Kyoto from Japan. And then we can go to ChatGPT. Now we add the face and the outfit. And also add the background. Now, once you have all three face, outfit, and background into ChatGPT, I would like to use a simple structure. Describe the face from picture one, describe the outfits from picture two, and describe the environment, lighting, and style from picture three, and turn them into mid-journey prompts. And then we can process it. And here we go. We now have a single clean prompt for mid-journey. Now we copy this prompt, and go to Meet Journey, paste the prompt, and just the last time, don't forget to pick your face as an online reference, and then run. And here we go. We got four image with a consistent character and a consistent background. But now we have a problem here. In some of the pictures, you can clearly see that the character lighting doesn't quite blend in with the background. And we can fix this with one simple trick by using Mid Journey style references. You can see it from here, the style references. So in this case, we could use the same prompt, bring in the face, and this time also bring in the reference pictures of Japan Kyoto here. And now let's run it and see how it looks. And here we go. We got four new pictures. And this time you can see the character's lighting is a lot more blending with their background. Now with this method, you can set your character to wherever you want. It is Japan or New York, Paris, Italy, Shanghai. And that's it! By combining a face, outfit, and background, you can create characters that feel grounded in the world, not just floating in AI randomness. In the next episode, we'll look at how to control camera distances and angles and composition to make your image even more cinematic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. I will see you next time. Bye bye.